Did anybody watch the Academy Awards on Sunday night? Yeah. It was a great show. Listen, I love seeing everybody all dressed up in their fabulous outfits, and some was dressed down. Did anybody see John Cena? Yeah. Child, what in the world? Oh, my goodness. You think he had a fitting? <laughs> The whole time, I was like, how is he gonna get off that stage? <laughs> like, what are they gonna do? Is he gonna back away? Uh, I don't know what's happening here. Listen, but look, look at Jimmy Kimmel. He is over there, like, what is the shot he's getting? <laughs> My mind was just wondering. I don't know, that's what I was thinking. I don't know about y'all. But he was also an amazing host, wasn't he, y'all? He always keeps me laughing. Like, he just seems so mischievous and always looking for something to get into. And I find it interesting how he could host a show to that magnitude and then still host his own talk show, which is insane. That is so awesome of him to be able to do. But he kept me very intrigued watching him host that show. And of course, I loved, love, love seeing all the people win the Academy Award and watching their acceptance speeches. Look at this. Oh, Divine Joy Randolph. Oh my God, her speech was so moving, y'all. It's like, it, it was so touching. Think about it, like, look at, look, at, look at this. Emma Stone winning her Oscar. Think about how the films touch us and how much it becomes a part of our lives. And then we get to sit and witness them, their lives being changed by winning such a huge honor. And then so it, I feel like it hits different when we get to watch them give their acceptance speeches. I don't know about you, but watching Divine Joy and her acceptance speech had me in tears. Billie Eilish, when she won for that song, I love that song. It was amazing to witness her win, okay? To see the artists, the way they pour their heart into their work and then into their speeches, it can't help but to resonate with you and hit you like straight in the heart, at least it did for me. And I was so happy to just cheer them on. And then for me to be able to sit on the couch and watch. Cause listen, cause a lot of times, you know, you go to those award shows, maybe I'll be sitting up there dreaming about sitting in the place just like this with some sweatpants on. So I halfway dressed up. I had put on a little bracelet to get a little shine. But then I had on some jogging pants and some flip flops. I said, now this is how I like to watch the Oscars. <laughs> Baby, I don't know about you, but I enjoyed that. But of course, it's a huge accomplishment to be nominated. So I wanna say congratulations to all the nominees who were nominated, okay? Yes. I love how like previous winners pay homage to the nominees because everybody got to have their moment. Just to be nominated alone will forever be attached to their names. You see what I'm saying? So that is a win alone. So when the previous winners got up there and called each one out, that gave each of them their moment, which they will remember forever. So I love that taste on the Oscars. Y'all hold on to that. That was amazing. And one of my favorite parts, yes, always, the number one thing I look forward to is the performances, okay? Like, because at least was it best song, so you got to watch all the best song performances. But Ryan Gosling, y'all, he sang us down. And apparently he ain't even a singer. He blessed my life. I said, you better sing. I almost threw a shoe. And then this pink suit. Y'all, you gotta give it to this man. He was wearing this pink shoe. It was bedazzled and all, but it still, it wasn't, it was, it was hidden, like he sold the whole entire moment. So, I mean, I love all the performances, but I think he may have been my favorite. He was. I am so happy for all the recipients. Congratulations, and I can't wait to the next Oscars. Anyway, since we talked about that, can we move on and talk about this show? Can we get this show started? Is that all right? All right, our first guest are the talented judges for a season 18 of So You Think You Can Dance. Please welcome Jojo, Allison, and Maxim. Come on out!
<laughs> Thank you. Y'all look good, first of all. Thank you. And your energy off the chain. I saw you bust out a dance move when you came out here. Can't help it. Always. Um, We're always dancing and moving at some point. It's, it's so awesome. I'm so happy to see you, Allison. How have you been? It's been, if I'm honest, a very challenging year. Yes. Um, full of very convoluted feelings and conflicting emotions where sometimes I'm just really joyous and happy and then other times I'm really angry and sad and mm -hmm. full of all these different confusing feelings that are all at the same time. And then I decide at the end of the day for my children and myself that I'm going to make sure I choose the right energy for myself. Mm -hmm. So I choose love and joy and to remember him as the amazing human that he is and celebrate him with my kids and um, still celebrate life because I just feel like there's so much purpose and love out there for us to experience. That is so true. And I'm sure, you know, he would be happy to see you guys happy. That makes all the difference. And Twitch and you guys have always been family. So we're happy to have you back and happy to see you here at the this, Happy Place. This place for me. This place is like home. It is. And so walking in here, I just had all these memories of my daughter, who my oldest, she's 15. Yeah, her. She used to come here every day after school and do her homework here. Everyone would you know, oh, oh. feed her dinner. And mm -hmm. it was so wonderful. She got to have a very different experience with both kids. <laughs> <laughs> right? But it's such a, a wonderful place that I hope, really hold dear to my heart. So it's, it's a lot to be here, but a beautiful feeling. Good. Hopefully it lifts your spirits that much more. Yeah. And I see you and your kids been dancing around together. Like, how has that been feeling? Oh, man. The dancing with my children, it has been so much fun. They're so adorable. Yesterday we were playing Just Dance, but it's fun to have dance as a way for us to connect and kind of express all these emotions yes. together. We were watching Trolls the other day in our, um, um, on the TV, and we just got up and started dancing together. And they were bouncing off the couches, jumping off the <laughs> coffee table, and it was just like so much freedom, and I could just feel like they still have so much lightness to them, and yes. I was really grateful to see that. That's beautiful. Yes. <laughs> The last time, because I feel like we met years ago, but you was way younger at the time, and you've grown up on us big it's, time. It's crazy. It's scary. Like, the last 10 years, I feel like, have gone by so fast, yet so slow. Yeah. Finally. <laughs> Finally, I'm here. Finally. <laughs> oh, my God. And you've danced your way, like, all the way through, and your energy Thank is you. infectious. It's Thank amazing. You. My I, son has always been a fan of yours. Oh, I appreciate that very, very much. I... I try. These guys know I try to keep the energy high. I try to keep everybody happy. It's yeah. what I live for. You them. do. You do. She's you do. the best yeah. to sit next to. I feel like immediately we connected. Like, I feel like she's like my little sister. We have so much fun together. Like, she always walks in with just like, all right, what's going on today? And I'm like, come on, yes. everybody, let's go. <laughs> let's have a great day. Wow. And where do you come into it, at, Max? Like, with this the This is energy. me right here. I'm right here. I'm on the side. <laughs> I, uh, I usually I just wait for the morning time to happen. Uh -huh. It takes about an hour and a half. They talk everything out. <laughs> uh, there's always a reserve. Yep. There's always a reserve. Somehow it's just nonstop. You know, one time I figured I'm going to pay attention. Mm -hmm. And I just lost the train of thought. That? Yeah, he doesn't pay attention, but I, he always delivers. He always delivers, but somehow he he's does. always just in his, you know, he's the doing something. The little clip thing. they showed, that was actual reality. It's me trying to yes. focus, pay attention on what we have to do, and it's just nonstop. Trying he's also to always in the middle of the two of us. Okay, yeah, because I saw that. Yeah, and the two of us are always like this, trying to talk around <laughs> him. Yeah. Okay, yeah. but if we were next to each other, that would be, I mean, that would be a disaster. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. You're the referee. They you split in the middle. them yes. up with me, basically. Yes. yes. Yeah. All jokes aside, I'm extremely nervous and stressed out every every taping. And, ah. and I said it, and yes. I'm just so, like, I'm, it's such a big gig for me, you know? Yeah. And not for, in general, but it's a big gig for someone like us, mm -hmm. you know, that went through a lifetime of dance, yes. you know? And then to be, uh, I, I want to say, to be rewarded with, mm -hmm. and now you get to sit and still mm. be in dance. I mean, it's incredible. So, uh, but, but the reality is that this is somebody's career, Yes. And so for me, it's important that I'm in the beginning of someone's journey mm -hmm. and that I can reflect on that being a correct beginning 10 years from now. You know, I'm, I'm putting a lot of prefer, pressure on that job, on what it does for people coming out of it. Right. On the kind of stars that we're going to have, you know, in the future. Um, and uh, yeah, I just put a lot of stake in it. We have so much respect for each other as a panel, though. And we sometimes do disagree. But the way we work it out together and talk it out, I think, is just obviously 
we're professionals and we see each other, we hear each other, and we yeah. listen. Mm -hmm. yeah. But at the end of the day, our end goal is finding the best dancer that's gonna represent the show right. and yes. do great things. We wanna help these kids on their journeys to become the best versions of themselves and the best dancers that they can be. And to be honest, I wanna say that like, I look at them like they're the best judges out there. This yeah. is the perfect place for each of them to be and I feel so grateful and honored to sit next to them. So we get our work done. We get our work done, but we have we get our work done, but we have fun doing it. We yeah. have them all. Yeah. And then He's we do there. <laughs> you have to perk them up sometimes. Have a great time. But it works. It works with, it with the, the blend of you three. It's very fun dynamic. A very it seems that way. Yeah. And I love the balance because it's no set formula to success or anyone's yeah. journey. Everybody has their own perspective, so it's a good balance. Will you guys stick around for a little bit? Yeah. All right. Well with Allison, Jojo, and Max. We'll be right back. We're back with the Fabulous Judge. It's up So You Think You Can Dance. Okay, so now you all started out in dance shows, right? Yeah. Okay, but Max, you did a different type of show without your phone. Tell us about that. Oh, <laughs> the Traders recently. Uh, no, no, I just have an experience with Traders and uh, uh, I also did ask prior to signing up for the show, like, is this a social experiment? And they're like, no, it's just a gameplay, you'll have fun. Uh, the first thing that happens when you land is the production takes your phone away. You have no communication with <laughs> an outside world. You have to, yeah, it's literally this. Um, and uh, yeah, you just, between the game, the game is fun, but then you go to your room and you just sit. No nothing? Yeah, there's no nothing. Not even writing material, just in case you don't pass notes to each other. So as a pro if I were the producer, I'd be like, that's the way it should be. As a participant, I'm like, somebody should have told me that. <laughs> <laughs> so how did you feel about how it ended? Uh, so I was out episode three uh -huh. and uh, kind of went on with my life, to be honest with you. Okay. And so I, I knew, I felt like I knew the ending. And then when I saw how it actually ended on paper, who the winners are, I was, I was completely wrong. And so I'm actually, like, I'm, I'm very much looking forward to watching it because I think uh -oh. it's a lot of fun. I think it, they did a great job. You have to be in a specific place in, in time in your life to want to do that. Yeah. Um, but I had a great time, for sure. And Jojo, you did Special Forces? I did, I did. Wow, like, what was that like? You know, Special Forces, it was awful, but amazing. <laughs> it, um, I mean, it, it changed my life. Uh -huh. It is. It is the most real reality show I've ever been in. Even, like, you can see we're wearing a microphone. That's the thing around our neck. And like normally on set, like when they come to change, I'm like, they're like, hey, Allison, like we got to do a battery change, right? They're, even the mic people, they're the only crew that we ever saw. But um, when they come in to change our mic, they, number three, battery change! <laughs> Uh, and you're like, yeah, is that the mic or is that the ass? I'm like, oh, that's crazy. No, that's crazy. That's what I'm telling you, you have to do it. It's brutal. Oh, it's oh, brutal. Would you, would you do it? Oh, she, yes, she, she would. She you're trying to talk I, her into it? Yeah, she's trying to talk me into it. And I would be intrigued because I, listen, dancers, we look like we're really like graceful and soft. Mm -hmm. and, like, yeah. girls, you know, I like to wear my rhinestones. But I like I, I love the grit. Yeah. Oh, oh I would absolutely, you do. absolutely so good love at it. it. Like I've been skydiving. I've been like I've done extreme so, things. I love all that stuff. So I would. I think I'd be yes. game. Okay. They, they, they would have to change the show up after Allison because they don't know what like this, this is a turbine yeah. of energy. Really? Yeah. And for that oh. type of show, that you need that type of participant. I'm okay. Like, here vouching for her. To we want to get see on. that, don't we, Joe? That would be <laughs> awesome. Okay. Now next. I heard you, you're expecting baby number three. And it was, congratulations. Yeah. It was a surprise. Are you ready? I mean, we have a seven year old, we have an eight months old, and, and uh, Peter's pregnant with five months pregnant. So yeah, it was a surprise. Oh, <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah, and that's the reaction too. I get 100% of the time. <laughs> They're like, oh, wow. Oh. I'm like, yes. Choice. Yes, it's a but choice. But you guys are wonderful parents. You're gonna be yes. great. That's You're the second love thing it. I get told right away. <laughs> are y'all gonna help babysit at all? Uh oh. I? Oh, yeah, can, can JoJo babysit? I think, Shy loves me. I think at some point, when it's three, you're like, can anybody come help babysit? <laughs> <laughs> I will be that anybody. So I will take whatever. JoJo, you coming out with some new music. What? Yes. What? Girl, tell us about it. I can say, look, I got this really cool tattoo on my hand. Nice. That has a really cool little date on it that I'm Ooh. very excited about. It's about a month away. Oh. Someone can see it. Okay. It's, it's, it's upside down. Oh, this oh, oh. <laughs> there. 
the balance of it all. It's, uh, it's been, it's two, two years ago, actually while we were filming last season of So You Think You Can Dance, mm -hmm. I, I, I started in the recording studio. Nice. And it's been a long time. And I think it's good that it's been a long time because growing up, a child star right. doing children's music, being very heavily in the children's world, I wanted to make sure that I gave a healthy gap. Mm -hmm. And uh, actually, yesterday, I gave the heads up, like, hey, it's not for kids anymore. Oh. <laughs> make, pick, pick, pick your poison if you stick around because it's not for, not for kids. Well, you let them know. I think there's a reason why people who have come before me have mm -hmm. had this moment. Mm -hmm. Take with that what you will, what you'll assume. And I'm really excited to have this moment. It's something I've been looking forward to for three years, four years now, really like heavily. And uh, You got us excited and we're excited for you. She's good and grown now. What with Allison, Jojo, and Max. When we come back, y'all better grow. Okay, we're back with the judges of So You Think You Can Dance. Since we all love dance performances in movies and on stage, we want to play a game with you called So Let's See You Dance. So, okay. There you go. Okay, they're stretching already. I am going to give you a dance category like jazz, and then we'll show you a photo from a movie or a performance for inspiration. And I'm gonna do a little judging myself, all right? So the first type of dance, y'all ready? Disco. Oh. Okay, oh, now fine. here's a photo. I think y'all already know what it feel like for some inspiration. Oh, he is ready in position, ready, get set. All right, hit the music. Okay, okay. I got two into that thing. Bam! That was good. Oh. Come on, help. You better get it! Oh! Oh! Yes! Yes! They did that. They did that. Women 
from our audience gave dating advice to the younger generation. Y'all, I don't know if we helped anyone, but I had so much fun, we had to bring them all back for one of my new favorite segments that we're calling Words from the Wise. All right, please welcome back to the show, the Fab Four, Yolanda, yes. Beth, Emmy, and Jeannie. Woo! I mean, y'all are a whole mood. Ain't they a whole mood, y'all? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Thank you so much for Thank joining you. us again. Thank I'm you. So happy yes. to have you all back. Thank you. you. It's oh, a pleasure. Y'all seem ready, ready. We're okay. ready. Can you remind everyone who you all are? Okay, first let me catch my breath after that performance. <laughs> Yolanda, <laughs> single and still mingling. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm Beth, I'm 71. I've been married to my wife almost 20 years. Yeah! <laughs> I'm Emmy, I'm 72 years old. When I was 18, I dated that guy for the first time, and I'm still married to him <laughs> for 52 years. Yes, yes, it's two years. <laughs> and I'm Jeannie. Uh, <laughs> forgot who else I was. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a single mother, and I'm ready and steady to bring my encyclopedia of life to help you others. Oh. Fabulous. All of you ladies are. Okay, thank you so much for being here. Are y'all ready to help our audience out today? Sure. Oh, yes. yeah. oh, it's going to be good. All right, ladies, <laughs> let's get started. Hello, what's your name and where are you from? Hi, my name is Melissa. I'm from Orange County, not very far. Uh, my question is, what is a great outfit for a first date? You know, that's a good question because sometimes people dress like they're going to the beach mm -hmm. and they're mm -hmm. actually going to the opera. Mm -hmm. So it really depends on where you're going. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to show too much. Yeah. Keep a no, secret. Yeah. Keep some of it a secret. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But only in the beginning. Only the beginning. <laughs> That's right. Then, no secrets. Show it. Thank you. <laughs> okay. I Sounds good. It. Sure. Okay. <laughs> Thank y'all for that. And what's your name and where are you from? Hi, my name is Shardasia and I'm from San Diego. My question is, um, so I have friends in the dating pool. Would you recommend traveling out of town to meet someone for the first time? Is that mm, person rich? What do you think? Mm. What you do you think, money? Janie? Most people would not recommend it, mm -mm. but I did it. Had oh, yeah. so much fun. Learned so much. The guy met me at the airport, had an itinerary of everything we were going to do. Took me to the alligator farm and a all-you-can-eat crab place. He was wonderful for the whole weekend. Mm. And everybody mm. thought I was going to be murdered and slaughtered. Because, <laughs> <laughs> Jenny, I was going to ask, like, okay, how long after, like, how long did you wait to get a sense of who he was That's before a good you question. felt okay We were on the Internet for six months, mm. and we didn't see each other, but we talked to each other over the Internet. This was way back. I'm old, so this was way back. So mm. over the Internet, we wrote a book together, and after the book was finished, he said, oh, I just love your mind. I just need to meet you. Would you come here if I sent you a ticket? And I said, hell yeah. So he did. Mm, Work thank you. Floor. Hello, what's your name and where are you from? Hi, I'm, my name is Fatuma. I'm from Canada, Toronto. Mm. Um, so my question for you all is, we've been married, my husband and I have been married for a very long time. We've got four kids and we're looking to see how we can keep the spice in the marriage. Oh, oh, that's easy. Oh, yeah. You With experience. 50 years, I had to think of many things because you have to keep it fresh, right? Yes, ma'am. But the best thing that oh. I like to do is when he's washing dishes, I go over there and kind of pinch his butt. <laughs> <laughs> that oh, works. Oh. Oh. And oh. he keeps washing as I'm pinching. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Amy, you need to wash more dishes. <laughs> What? So pinch him? Yeah, pinch. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. There you go. <laughs> we just getting started. More advice to come. Will y'all stick around? Okay. Oh, sure. okay. We don't want to miss nothing. We'll be right back. We're back giving dated advice to our audience. How y'all think we're doing so far? Yes. Okay, we got a few more. Come on over. <laughs> 
Hello, what's your name and where are you from? Hi, I'm Amanda and I'm here in Burbank. Uh -oh. Cool. So I just walked right over. Nice. <laughs> Okay. What's your question? Ladies, I would love to know, do opposites really attract? Most, most definitely. definitely. Especially the quiet guys, because I'm loud as it is. So when I'm loud, the quiet guys come, oh, hey, Ugh. calm down, you know, and I'm like, okay. But yes, they do. I believe in that book. Yeah. Opposite does attract. Mm -hmm. And I agree, because I'm not loud, but outgoing. Outgoing. <laughs> and my husband is very shy and introverted. But I bring out the best in him. You know, I can't help it. So it's good. And I agree. Opposites attract. Mm -hmm. I'm a little out there, and my wife is a little in there. <laughs> <laughs> out there and a little in there. I yep. like that. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> you I, think, I think that's good, too. Opposites do attract. Yeah. Makes it more interesting. Yeah. You don't want anybody just like you. Lord, I don't want anybody just like me. <laughs> well, <laughs> good genie. I love that. All right, you got what you need. All right, let's get the next question. What's your name and where are you from? My name is Isis, and I'm from Beaumont, California. Nice. Thank you. What's your question? My questions are, what are some red flags to look for? <laughs> you look like you're thinking, Yolanda. You what you think? Well, it's like a date or something? Yes. Well, as long as you don't come in looking like Miami Vice with no socks on. You know what I'm saying? You know, and got that cologne all over the place, you know, when you pass it, you can still smell. What's so that that's mean a when flag. you still smell them? Like, it, like, they have too much cologne. It's like they're trying to cover up an odor. Oh. And then they have too much, they have too much cologne on, like they just buried it, and then they leave yeah. all up on you, and then it's all on your clothes. And you could taste it? Yeah, oh my God. <laughs> mm -mm. Yeah. So just make sure, you know, he comes to you right, and, you know, don't have him looking, you got to be looking good. I think, okay. you, yeah, and make sure you ask the question, are you still living in your mother's basement? Uh, mm. That's a red flag. Mm. Yeah, there you yeah. go. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. I'm a grammar person, so it's, you, got, you got to be intelligent. So if you say one sentence off the read, then I'm going to go, no. So it's about what they say, what it might yeah, be. Yeah, if I can guess what kind of education level you had, uh -huh. then I can already tell, even though I might be as crazy as Beth, but you know, I am an intelligent person. Oh. So I like to communicate, because that's important. When yeah. you have problems, it's important that you be able to communicate with each other on the same level. That's not one point. over here, yeah. not one over there. That's a very yeah. good point. I just yeah. asked him for his FIFO score. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and if he doesn't know what that means, <laughs> out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I think that helped us out a bit. Oh my goodness. Now, I love having y'all here so much. Thank you so much for being here. We thank love you. it. Your energy is so amazing. Your wisdom is awesome. And Jeannie, thank you for being here because I heard you are celebrating a birthday. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. That is awesome. Yeah, that okay. 80 is getting closer. Well, we want to celebrate you, so we got to, you know, we got to turn up with you just a little bit and bring oh, out a little yeah. Today, thank you again, fabulous ladies. Will you come back thank again and see us? Oh, yes. sure. Yes. sure. All right. That's what I want. I want to be like them when I grow up. We'll be right back. <laughs> the weather is finally starting to warm up. And with St. Patrick's Day this weekend, our friends at Morning Save are helping us get the party started with more deals that sing. <laughs> She brings the party every time she's here. Back again, my shopping bestie, Showbird! Come on in, girl! I always feel so lucky, hence why I'm wearing green right now with you, Jennifer, and everyone at home should feel lucky too, because you know why? why? Because you can start shopping right now by checking out MorningSave.com or by scanning the QR code below. Mm -hmm. Shall we start shopping? You know I'm ready. Okay. I know you know I'm ready. 
All right, well, let me tell you about this right here, Jennifer. You can't have a good party without good lighting. And that's why I love our first product. It's a two pack of these Cobol Cascade waterproof decorative LED spheres. They're a perfect lighting addition to your front yard, pool, garden, backyard, and even your bedrooms, okay? So this deal includes two spheres with two remotes available in eight inch, 10 inch, or 12 inch sizes. They're rechargeable and work up to 10 hours at a time. So you could just party all night long. Who doesn't want to party all night long, right? Sure, I'm playing with it. What are you doing? What I'm you... making colors. You don't oh my, see I this? I feel like you're like making like oh a whole goodness. like concoction over yeah, here. Yeah, see, the it's changing colors. This is great. I love it. I oh. mean, how important is lighting, Jennifer? It is it's vital. Everything. It is everything. Okay, so we've seen this retail for as high as $160 to $200, depending on the size. With the deals that Sing Discount, you can get two for $29.99 to $49.99. Eighty-one yeah. percent. I can't lift up my arms. Uh, but you look fabulous. You look fabulous. Thank you. Okay. All right. Okay. Cool. Get this, you guys. Never come to a party empty-handed again, okay? So with our next product, the Cobalt X Blast High Fidelity Wireless Tailgate Speaker. Mm -hmm. This speaker right here has it all, okay? It's got Bluetooth, FM radio, LED colored lights, SD card slot, everything, USB flash drive slot, and even a microphone input for karaoke. Just saying. <laughs> You'll never, never have to shut down the party with its 30 foot range and four hours of battery life. Jennifer, what is your go to karaoke song? Because you don't oh, want to hear me sing. My that's for sure. goodness. I'm going to start singing. Go ahead. Say, he, 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 he. But do you know I love a speaker and it's so light? <laughs> Right? You could just rock yes. it. Yep. So we see this color. retail for as high as $100. With the deals at Sing Discount, you can get this for only $24.99. Oh, That's it. That is a savings of 75%. Come on. Look at your shoes. Get over here. This is everything. All right. I love this is going to be amazing right here. Yes, so, every color. This. I have this, I have to say. Mm -hmm. I know I've brought you some useful products over the season, Jennifer, but this one might be at the top of the list. You know why? Why, girl? Because it's a two pack of this Incipio 4 in 1 Bluetooth speaker, lantern, flashlight, and power bank, okay? It's all of those it's things. It's all of those things. No matter where your travels take you, you'll always be ready with this easy to carry lantern, wireless speaker flashlight, and portable charger, okay? So this little device does actually just everything, really. With two in the deal, you can keep one at home and just one on the go. Put in your purse, call it a day, you know? Yes. Jennifer, how useful and cute is this little lantern? Look, I mean, look at the colors. This What's is so cute, and I love that it just Spring? like does all of those things. It got good colors. Mm -hmm. I need one for here, I need one yep. for the car, and I need one for We home. need quadruple. We've seen this retail. I'm a shopper, if you didn't know. <laughs> for as high as $200. With the deals at Sing Discount, you guys can get a set of two for only $39.99. Are you serious? That's a saving of 80%. <laughs> I'll do it for you. I'll thank you, thank you, thank you. That's everything. everything. You've been bringing me some good stuff. Okay, well, wait till you check this out. Okay. Because you know what? I brought a special product for your bestie, mm -hmm. Walter, who I know loves to cook. Yes, okay? he does. It's the Maverick wireless remote thermometer with two high heat probes, door buster. Mm -hmm. Let me repeat, door buster. So remember, only three per person, okay? Aw. I'll give you my email. Okay. Take that. The warmer weather means grill season is upon us, okay? These thermometer probes monitor both grill and meat temperatures while the wireless receiver provides the chef freedom to monitor their cooking progress from up to 300 feet mm -hmm. away. So you'll hear and see an alert if the grill basically deviates from your pre-programmed range, okay? So Jennifer, do you like to grill or do you like to eat whatever like to is from eat the grill? I like yeah. being grilled. <laughs> exactly. Okay. I'm with you, I'm with you. <laughs> ah. So we've seen this retail for as high as $60. Okay, so with the deals that sync discount, you can get this for only fifteen dollars. Fifteen dollars. That's a savings of seventy-five percent. Yes! Oh my goodness! Once again, Cheryl, 
of these morning deals that sing are amazing. You know what? We should help a lucky audience member. I mean, get the party started, right? Absolutely. Yes. So, if you see your name on the screen, you're today's winner, and you are going home with all of these fabulous products. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Congratulations, Mike! And thank you, sir. Come on stage, girl. You better live your best life. <laughs> Enjoy them all. Oh. oh my God! Amazing deals that thing. Make sure you check out shows, podcasts, sex, lives, and spray tins anywhere you listen to your podcast. And to get these deals that sing before they're all gone, visit morningsafe.com or scan the QR code below while supplies last. We'll be right back. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit jenniferhudsonshow.com to see when you can watch full episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.